Hi, we're back in the kitchen today, and the theme is when life gives you lemons, make lemon chicken. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tackle a few things today. We're gonna make a delicious lemon chicken, which is gonna be Mediterranean style with a lot of aromatic spices in it. Really good and easy to make. And we're also gonna pair that with a terrific adult beverage that you can enjoy with that with your uh, significant other. So we're gonna tackle something that is a little complicated a little daunting for some people, we're gonna butcher a chicken. So this is a four pound, uh, it happens to be organic, it's what I found in the supermarket. So the first place you start is straight down the backbone. That's gonna separate the chicken into two halves. Now let's talk a little bit about this knife. This is a boning knife. Uh, it's flexible and not very long. So this helps cut through the bone and doesn't cut into the meat. Thank you, Vanna. So you see there's those two pieces of cartilage. cartilage out. You don't have to cut it, you can just remove it. And now you have two halves of the chicken. Satisfied it's all clean. Yep. And now cut through the whole chicken. And now we have two half chickens. Nice. That's the wing. Cut off the tip of the wing. And now we're gonna separate the breast from the thigh and the leg. There you go. To separate the leg from the thigh. That simple. Boom. Now you have the big piece of breast, which you're going to cut in half. That's your cutting through bone and cartilage there. So you're going to have the half, which has the wing attached to it, and you're also going to have the breast piece without any. So if you had a healthy, normal chicken, you should now have eight pieces, two legs, two thighs, two breasts, and a breast piece with wing. Okay, so now that the chicken is all cut up nicely into the eight pieces, I put together this little uh, spice mixture, which is a quarter cup of turmeric, a quarter cup of za'atar, two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of ground black pepper. I put in a teaspoon of cayenne. If you don't like cayenne, don't like spicy, then remove it entirely. Or if you like it a little spicier, use two table, use one tablespoon of cayenne, and then also one tablespoon of salt. Um, I'm gonna rub this, sprinkle this mixture all over. This, the recipe I just gave you for this spice mixture is enough for about three chickens. So you're gonna use about a third of it on this chicken and then you can put the rest away for you could use this on steaks you can use this on certainly all chicken seafood dishes really nice little mediterranean blend so now we have this dutch oven on medium heat with about two tablespoons of olive oil 
and I'm just simply browning both sides of the chicken. You're not looking to cook the chicken in this step, you're just looking to brown the outside nicely. It smells amazing. Okay, so these are the ingredients that we're gonna need to cook once the chicken is all browned. It's uh, one yellow onion, medium dice, two beef steak tomatoes, medium dice. We have um, a yellow pepper. I just happen to have a yellow pepper. You could use any color, and it's a fine julienne. I also had a beautiful little red jalapeno, so I put that in there too. You can omit that if you don't like spicy. I had some chives, so I use the chives, but you, you can use uh, parsley, Italian parsley, probably even cilantro would work, whatever you have. I also have from one lemon, I have the um, finely, fine zest of one lemon. And then from that lemon, I also made supremes. Supremes are when you cut each section of lemon really carefully and you remove all the membrane. So all that's left is that perfect little slice of lemon. Uh, I also juiced one lemon. And then we are out of garlic here, but I did have six little cubes of the frozen garlic. So those are the ingredients that are gonna go into your pot now. So this is all those veggies, the onions, the peppers, the garlic, the lemon zest, all cooking together till lightly brown. Smells great. Okay, so now the onions are browned. And to this, we're gonna add the juice of one lemon. The two diced tomatoes. The chives. And to that, we're gonna add two cups of chicken stock. Okay, and that's on medium heat. So now you can see this beautiful tomato mixture is simmering away. And that chicken that was nice and browned is gonna go back into that delicious mixture and it's going to continue its cooking process in there. Throwing in the extra lemons and the lemon supremes. Now this is going to get covered a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes till the chicken is cooked through. promised you that adult beverage. So here in my shaker, I have it filled with ice. I have two ounces of my favorite kind of tequila. To that, I'm gonna put in two ounces of lemon lime juice, two ounces of OJ, and the great thing about this cocktail is you can use any of the kinds of juices that you have. Lemons, limes, and um, orange is just what I had. And now you're gonna put in one teaspoon of agave. Pour it into this beautiful glass. You can line the rim of the glass with a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, 
Cheers.